Coast Nation, San Munan Buffetu, and welcome back to Football Trains with me, or could be. Uh, to be honest, Buffetu, on today's video, I don't have any updates. Oh, actually, wait, in among Buffetu, I do have something in terms of what uh, or Alexi Estatio said in terms of the deal as an Elevela Bay and also Kaiser Chiefs, because you know, Kaiser Chiefs tried to sign as an Elevela Bay and they've made some offers, improved offers, and everything was just denied, denied, denied. So, obviously, I'm going to be diving into that and then later on i will be just talking about uh free agents and some of the players that keys achieves failed to secure but of course buffet too before i dive more into those details please do make sure to like the video and also manga with this is your first time seeing football trends with qp my call on you click on that subscribe button and the bell notification so that next time when you're posting your video you get notified i would like to start by saying buffet to gabanda and at case then we see the situation hopefully help is coming and it's on the way because i've seen how uh, there was a casualty someone who died on a taxi you know john manjiba was uh, on the snow i think it's still happening as i'm recording this video but hopefully help is on the way and to that soul that lost his or her life may their soul rest in peace now obviously buffet maybe a lot of you did not go to work even the matches that were playing today some of them j big lalo party it was not on the perfect weather conditions yabanda buffet to to be honest and as many of you like to say with life goes on just like nati we failed as the club to secure some of the players that we thought with nanganja and the chiefs are going to secure some of those players but starting off uh, with in the by cape town space ceo which is alexi estatio he says i think uh the complication in this deal was when someone leaked the fact that we were in talks with chiefs had this not happened i think this deal would have probably happened we show an again e ceo yeah yo, e cape town spares now to be honest with you buffet too if i look back uh, what he's saying might be true but might not also be true because if you look back uh we signed Orashun totally who was coming from cape town spares yes itilia k was not known uh we did not even have inside information in terms of that we just got the information on the last day seba and with diamond case issues have signed a uh, oration totally from cape town spares which as long as you know you know with baba as well isn't this van analyzer so yeah there were those deals with the they were in secret uh you know they talked in the laser right but the team was a feeling that was an level by and the information got leaked I think that's the reason why I keep town space decided as in and they're talking too much and they say Kaiser Chiefs has money. Let's just exploit them. Maybe Bozos Ningeza the money that we want because obviously the fans uh, will put pressure on the management to which they need to sign this boy but unfortunately uh case just management was like mm -mm, we we cannot we cannot give you this amount of money for this player anyways the deal failed and then they went back again this past week we fate to saw obviously before the deadline we were there trying you know there were a lot of agents coming in going out you know trying to secure the deals but hey it did not go according to plan so it might be true but also not true the reason why i'm saying what is not true then the show alexi estatio is because case chiefs and 820 is a july to case chiefs were interested in signing inaso miguel and i believe i was the first one to break that story here on youtube i think and obviously i posted about it on twitter i was second obviously the first people who posted about it i think it was my trusted source and then i came in second posting about it yes i was definitely sure what in Anjan case the chiefs are interested but you were to lega for some time and then later on we heard that case the chiefs have signed uh oh inaso miguel so if ever like um we we knew about inaso miguel coming to natural arena even before mazum signer come on buffet too obviously we've manifested it we hoped to in Anjan mazum taller which they did definitely so to me it doesn't make any sense why i show yes that you but i do know one thing for sure is very much interested in playing for a case chiefs just like in was interested in playing for case chiefs and then you know bam signer he's a quality player in us over too but we signed him at four point something million which is way less than what this site is asking for for players 
but i guess buffet too it is what it is and it's out of my hands there's nothing that i can do about it but for now for now uh, i think i would like us to look at what is happening at case issues because it's all uh, the transfer window was closing uh evaluate transfer window it's done uh we cannot sign any players from any team currently but i do have to say uh you know keys are just allowed to sign a free agent i'm not saying they should go and sign those players but i'm saying look at us currently we don't have a striker uh we cannot rely on the players that we have currently only definitely we need a uh, depth and yeah to to be honest with you buffet too we have players like holisedi kapinga who is a free agent i'm not saying case that you should sign him i'm just pointing it out some of the free agents that are there and we have uh, abu samir nakovic who's also a free agent i'm not gonna name all of them but bongani zungo who is a midfielder He's also a free agent, but even though we know for sure he's not welcomed in the natural, I think. And then Kemi Terasmas Nai, I think uh, he's he's a free agent. I'm not saying case that you should go and sign him. And yeah, those are some of the players that uh, I wanted to give to you guys and show you what they, they are free agents and currently Gaza Chiefs doesn't have a striker. If ever they are going to struggle and yeah, they need an alternative because obviously they failed to secure some of the players that they wanted and we end up by foreign quarter we could not sign a foreign striker because i know if ever case just wanted to sign a striker from abroad they would have easily done that a uh, simple 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 but because you know the foreign quarter and the laws they have to go by the rules. Oh, and something else perfect to before I forget. On the opening, I said we're going to talk about some of the failed deals. Obviously, uh, Fawaz Basadin, failed deal. Asanele Velabai, failed deal. Austin Apollos and Abakona Ilangani. I'm not getting what is going on in terms of that. Basically, the rest perfect to obviously. I'm not going to mention all of the players, but those players, Zila Wabutimae, like Amatil Zwakona, I don't think there was something on the table. There were just links, you know. We had the links. So we took KK that she was interested in signing who and who and who, who and who and who and who. But some of them, I don't think is true. Uh, they wanted to tap uh, The links, the rumors out there. They also say they wanted to Bradley Crobler. Uh, rumors out there. And Tamang Matulidi, if I'm not mistaken. But obviously, as I've said, nothing was confirmed from my side. And then she was okay. Those were off official links but i can see it was just rumors obviously i won't mention all of the players because you know some of them i just mentioned some of those but anyways i think we have to move on from this transfer window and then sobona what later on what is going to happen kumbule there are still a lot of players a lot a lot of free agent players even in africa who can be signed but according to foreign court i think we are full we cannot sign uh, another player to come and play for us currently so let's leave it in the hands of the professional or el nabi to see utena wenzanjani because now he has part you know to play in terms of those signings and who he wanted and who he did not want so yeah definitely we're gonna see what's going to happen so far i think we have to look ahead and focus on the match that is coming which we're going to be facing amazulu fc in 25